In this video, we're going to be looking at the solution to question 4 part A on the January 2013 CSEC math exam pass paper. Here in part 1, they have it stated R minus H is equal to RH. Now the instruction states that we are to make R the subject in each of the following formulae. Okay, so basically um, R must be on one side and everything else should be on the other side of the equation. Okay, so R minus H, let's just rewrite that. R minus H is equal to R H. Now the objective is to bring all the R's to one side of the equation and everything else to the other. Okay, now this is a positive R H, so I'm going to subtract RH from both sides because I want to group all of my R's on one side, okay? So basically what I'm going to have is R minus H, okay? Minus RH, which is this RH that I'm taking across, is equal to RH minus RH. Now remember what I do to one side of my equation. If you notice I subtracted RH here, I have to do it to the other side. So my equation will remain balanced. Okay, my friends. Now if you notice guys, what I have here, I have a R minus H minus RH. Now what I really want to do here, I want to group all my R's together so I can factor, factor out R. Okay, so I'm going to say R and then I'm going to group it with my RH. So that's a negative RH, okay? And then I have this minus H there that I'm going to put over there, okay? And that is equal to, and we all know that positive RH will cancel out with a negative RH. So we're left with zero there, okay? Now, pretty much, my friends, I just need the R's to be on this side. If you notice, I have a negative H standing by itself. So to move this negative H to the right side, I am going to have to do the opposite of subtraction, which is addition. Okay, so I'm going to say R minus RH. And now I need to move this. So I need to add H to both sides. So I have a minus H there. So I need to add H to both sides is equal to zero plus H. Okay, guys. Now, if you notice again, my friends, what is happening here? I have a negative H and a positive H. Now, these two will cancel out, leaving us with zero. So what we have left over here is really R minus RH. Okay, the H is gone. And that is equal to zero plus H, which is H. Okay, now I have the R's together. So we can just go ahead now and factor out out R. R is common to both. If you notice both um, terms, I have a R here and a R there. So since that R is common, I'm going to take it out, open bracket, R into R will go one time, that's one time, minus R will cancel out with R there, leaving us with a H. Okay, close bracket, and that is equal to H. Now, pretty much this is easy from here. If you notice, we have R alone here now. So if you notice, 1 minus H is multiplying R. So to make that the subject, I will have to do the opposite of multiply. To make R the subject, I would have to do the opposite of multiplication, which is to divide through by 1 minus H. Okay? What I do to one side of my equation, I have to go over here and I have to do it to the other side. So I'm dividing through by 1 minus H. So this will cancel out with that. Therefore, my friends, I am left with for my answer. If you notice, we have R alone over here. So R is equal to H upon 1 minus H. Okay, and that's our answer. Okay, guys, pretty much that easy. Hope that you found that useful. Now let's quickly look into part two. Here we have V is equal to v is equal to pi r squared times h, okay? And they're asking us to make r the subject. Now, again, my friends, if you notice, pi, let's just rewrite that quickly. We have v is equal to pi r squared, r squared times h, okay? Now, they're asking us to make, make r the subject. Now, if you notice, pi and h is m these two, it, Pi and H is really multiplying R square, okay? So to get rid of that, we need to do the opposite of multiplication, which is to divide through by pi 
H, okay? Now pi H will cancel out. The H will cancel out with that, the H, and pi will cancel out with that pi. Now, remember, what I do to one side of my equation, I have to do it to the other side. So I have to divide through over here by pi H also. Now, if you notice, my friends, what we have here, what we have left over over here, and I'm just going to turn it around, I have a R squared leave over here remember it's an equation so it doesn't matter which side you write it on and over here i have a v upon pi h okay upon pi h now we want r to be the subject so basically since r is being squared the opposite of squared is square root okay so it simply means we have to take the square root of both sides to get r the subject so i'm going to simply say okay the square root of r square and I, what I do to one side, I must do it to the other side. But note, I'm taking the square root of everything over here. So if you notice how far down I went, okay, and I'm taking the square root of all of that, okay? So therefore, my friends, therefore, our answer is, therefore, we know that the square will cancel out with the square root there. So we're left with r is equal to the square root, okay, of v over pi h okay it's pretty much that easy now if you're still not sure feel free to leave a comment or a question on our website at willedutech.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible okay my friends bye bye